How's it going fam? Welcome back to Erica ZDC and today we are going to do some testing with two knives here. We have a brand new knife from Three Rivers Manufacturing, TRM, and then we have an SE knife here. I've never used either of these, so we're going to do some testing with some batoning and see how they do as they are both camp knives. And I'm just getting too antsy waiting for the whole test. Um, the whole massive steel testing that I'm running. So we're gonna, we're gonna dabble in it a little bit today. Um, real quick before we start, here are the details on both knives, the most frequently asked questions. So you can pause this if you wanna look at it. Obviously down here with the TRM, we have a way thinner BTE and um, a very different steel and heat treat. So. Those are the details. We will look at the edge that we are starting with, do our test, see what the edge looks like after, and make some little mini conclusions here. So let me lower you guys down and I'll show you kind of what we're doing today. So we have the two knives and we're going to be batoning some kiln dried firewood. It's extremely hard seasoned stuff. Is this an abrasive test? No, but it is a good, um, toughness kind of edge edge stability test we'll just see what happens as i mentioned it you know maybe last week i think it was um nikki's se knife chipped um kind of gently hitting the driveway it got a huge chip so you know things can just randomly kind of happen um we're just gonna see you know so this is the factory edge this knife has clearly never been used ever. Um, so let's see the edge that we're starting with at the beginning of the test. Just have normal printer paper here per usual. Sharp, very sharp, okay? And now we will test the edge of the TRM red line camp knife. Same piece of paper here. Crazy sharp, freaking razor blade. Okay, so um, we're gonna be testing a couple of things here. Like I said, some qualities of the blade, and we're also going to be testing this thing right here. Um, this is a little concerning to me in terms of how it's designed. I don't think it's gonna work for my hand as this is such a huge choil here. And then this is a little oddly placed. So I think this is going to maybe cause a hot spot or a little bit of awkwardness for my hand because I, I think the best way to go about this for me is to put one finger, one finger right here, the rest like that. And I do have a whole bunch of space here and there's no jimping, there's no grip, there's no nothing. So I'm not sure how that's gonna feel using it, but I have a little bit of a hypothesis that this is just because it's so squared off in such an angular design, I'm I'm thinking this may not be super comfortable for my hand. I'm also a little concerned about how sharp this is right here and how um, open that is. Great for ease of sharpening, but I did just nick my finger on, on this area. So um, the SE feels much better to me. Before we get started, just a really nice ergonomic, broomstick style handle basically really comfortable and i just feel a little safer with this i just feel like there's a little bit of a different uh distance here and um maybe i can kind of choke up a little more there comfortably and control this a little more but obviously we're not going to know until we use them so enough talking let's just get into this guys um back up here a little bit. We're in the garage because it's so windy outside. I, I can't get good audio. And for some reason lately, um, the last three times I've tried to film the, the video and the audio do not line up. It lags. I'm not sure if that's a storage issue on my phone, but I've been trying to film the past couple days and I just literally can't. It doesn't work because it lags by like a whopping freaking seven seconds. Okay. So we're just gonna we're just gonna start batoning with this and kind of see how it does. Um, this is just something I feel like people would do on a camping trip with these camping 
style knives, maybe making some kindling for a fire. Um, so let's just see how it does. Handle is extremely comfortable. Just trying to make sure I don't mess anything up here. I'm just gonna wiggle this out a little bit so I have a little more room to work here. We're going through a pretty decent knot right now. I know you guys aren't afraid, but let me just try to finish this up here. I think I'm actually gonna flip it. There's definitely some some knots and stuff, some wonky areas. Uh, this this wood is really hard. I know this is a small piece of wood, but it is some hard stuff. Also, um, it was recorded on the paper, but I'm not sure if you noticed. The blade stock thickness on this Essie is much thinner than the TRM. Um, a, a pretty significant difference in blade stock thickness, just something to note. So that went through really easily. This full flat ground blade is, you know, going through pretty well. Is, is a full flat grind the best bet for wood splitting? No. But, I mean, it can obviously do it. It was pretty easy. Let's do one more piece here. And the cool thing real quick about Essie's is that if I do break this doing it, I can literally just send it in and they'll replace it. Great warranty. Awesome. Okay, so let's kind of see if that did anything, it, it should not have, but let's just see. Seems unscathed, fabulous, excellent job, Essie. Okay, let's try this TRM now. Definitely a little bit of a different style here. Um, we have a, a flat ground blade, but it's not you know, we do have a little bit of um, a flat there. Kind of looks a little more like a, uh, a chef's knife, almost. Um, looks like it's kind of supposed to be in the kitchen, almost. Way thinner BTE, 20 CV steel, very different. So let's see how it does. I'm very curious about the handle right now. That's what I'm really curious about. I've used 20 CV a whole bunch and it's generally pretty good stuff. Pretty tough, but ooh, instantly. Wow, so it's going through really well. I'm not even in frame, am I? It's going through really well, but I'm gonna tell you right now, can you see that? I hope that the camera's catching it before it fades. Here, here, here. Hot spots instantly. Because it's such an angular knife. The moment I, I, the moment I started using it, it was instantly like, oh, I feel those edges and corners. I'm just trying to kind of stop this before hitting the garage floor because it's concrete. Let's do... Let's do one more. I wonder if I can lower you guys down a, a, just a hair more. Because I know I'm not showing the whole thing here. All right, let's do one more. And then see how our edge is. Uh, and, and Peters does this heat treat, which was also on that paper. But um, yeah, I think Peters does all of the TRM heat treats. Yeah, this ridge extremely uncomfortable unfortunately like right in here on my knuckle on the inside of my finger it that that does not feel very good at all i'm gonna try to actually this time wrap my middle finger around the hump because that's where my hand would want to go normally but that thing is in the way man i don't know why they put that there it's so random
No, that doesn't feel good. Yeah, that that handle does not you can you can see the you can see those lines. Yep. Right there and there where there's a Yeah, that's not comfortable. Um okay, so let's see what we have for an edge now because we kind of did the same the same two splits. Still razor sharp. Very nice. There's definitely some, there's definitely some chipping. Oh, wow. Oh, we've got some pretty significant chipping up at the front, which I don't know if I'm gonna catch on camera. I don't know if it's gonna focus. Can you guys see? Yep, I just, okay, so look right at the very front here, guys. You can actually hear it. See that chipping? All of that chipping right through there. That's unfortunate. Um, I'm not seeing that on the, on the SE. No, no chipping on the SE at all, but on the camp knife, we've got some pretty significant chipping up here. which is strange because that area wasn't even really touching the wood too much. Like, I don't even know how that, how that came about. Um, I think I mentioned this, this knife had never been used before we did this either. Like this is fresh out of the sheath, never, never used. Um, and the, the chipping was not there before this test. I, I don't, I'll have to watch this back and see when that happened. But what the heck, man, that shouldn't be. That should not be happening. Interesting. Okay, so um, first impressions of this, I'm not super stoked. Uh, this is not really my jam yet. Obviously this is just the beginning of the testing, but like extremely uncomfortable handle, very square, very awkward to hold. It, do it does not feel good. You don't really know where to put your fingers because like who has an inch an inch wide finger like that, you know what I'm saying? Who who has, I don't know. Um, pretty concerned about that chipping there. 20 CV is generally pretty good at edge stability and toughness. I'm a little concerned about that, all of that chipping up there. I'm not even sure how that was brought about. Um, it is very thin behind the edge, but not quite sure why you would run 17 to 18 thou BTE on a camp knife. It's literally called the Red Line Fixie Camp Knife. So why you would do such a thin edge geometry, I'm, I'm a little confused about that. I'm a little confused. Just trying to see what happens when we do this, if we can kind of get that chipping or anything to come about again, because I don't understand how that even happened. Okay, let's see. No, it's still fine. Yeah, I'm, I, I have no idea what happened up there. No clue. So I don't know, I guess, um, yeah, first impression's kind of kind of interesting. Um, it, it doesn't seem to make a whole bunch of sense. And, and quite frankly, when I took it out of the box, I immediately was like, hmm, what is happening here? Just because like this, this for me, This is pretty dang near perfect in terms of the design, the ergonomics. Um, so far the steel is okay, but like in terms of just kind of the design, this seems to make a lot of sense to me for a camp knife, for an outdoors knife that you'd be doing multiple tasks with. Uh, this, this really genuinely does look like it's supposed to belong in a kitchen. 
I, but I just don't understand what's going on with this handle and why you would run 17 thou BTE 20 CV that chips, I don't know. Um, if your 20 CV is that chippy, then beef it up behind the edge. You know what I'm saying? Or opposite, if you want to run a thin BTE, use a steel that's a little more appropriate that should that should not chip as easily with thinner edge geometry. You know, it's it's that ideology that I've been talking about. Pick one. Run blade stock thickness for toughness. Like pick a pick a blade stock thickness and thin it out um you know for a specific toughness that you're aiming for or run the HRC in accordance with the steel for toughness. You know what I'm saying? Like that's kind of what this whole test is supposed to shine more light on is like thickness for toughness or HRC for toughness. But when you when you misconstrue both, this is can this is kind of what happens. We've got a knife here that's too thin in a steel that maybe needs a little bit of a thicker BTE and now it's chippy. And I wouldn't want to deal with this out on a camp trip. So that's kind of my conclusion for this video. You know, just a real quick introduction to some of the types of tasks that we're going to be doing to test these knives. Um, the SE did great and I would love to see TRM try to make something a little more comfortable, a little, uh, something that makes sense a little bit more. Um, because that, that chipping is really unfortunate and we just don't even know how that, how that occurred. Yep. All right up there is, see how that's, it's catching. It's all chipped, all edge damage. Whereas down here, absolutely flawless. But the moment you get to that, that tip, absolute trash, completely trashed. So, um, yeah, that's it for today, guys. I hope that you enjoyed the video. Let's pray that the audio in the video is lined up with this. I will see you guys on the next video. Go use your shit. Learn how to sharpen your knives. And I'll see you on the next video, fam. I love you so, so much. Take care.